everybody, it's Shana here. I hope you guys can see me properly because my phone's kind of leaned up against some stuff. I'm going to try to fix that. Okay, so it is hump day and it's May 1st, so we're already like five months into 2019. I cannot believe it. There's stuff in my eye and it's really bothering me. Alright, so I have some very, very exciting news to share with you guys. Um, I'm trying to keep it low. I know it doesn't seem like I'm too excited. I am ecstatic, but the thing is my aunt is home and you know me. I like to do vlogs where I'm home alone so I can talk as loud as I want to, but I'm going to try to keep it at a minimal level right now. Okay, so I'm back to working out at home and I used to go to the gym. I used to do home workouts and I'm kind of getting back into that. I don't know if I'm going to be going back to the gym because I do want to go for runs in the summer when it's nice out and in the fall as well and I'm gonna start building it up right now just to feel better it's not to like I, I don't know I guess I, I just want to feel better right now and I f I'm feeling kind of uh, like my, I noticed that my body's changing actually because I'm already like I this like it's like my third day of working out and I've been lifting these these are quite heavy. They don't look heavy, but they are pretty, like, they're pretty good weight to uh, start with when you're working out. I can add stuff to it um, when I want to start lifting heavier weights. I have another one. It's a bigger one. It's in the closet. It's uh, too heavy to bring out right now. I think I do have dumbbells upstairs, but I do have plenty of equipment. I also have these things that I can attach to the bars. So, yeah, I have two of these, by the way. Oh, and I also have a rubber band. So, that's pretty cool, too. Um, I have a little schedule. So, I'm going to be working out for one hour. Of, uh, I'm going to be working out at least one hour for five days a week. So, Monday to Friday, I'll be working out. Weekends are going to be my break day. And, uh... Yeah, so I'm going to do 60 minutes of cardio, 25 minutes of walking, so I'm going to go for a walk around my neighborhood. I can even walk to like a nearby store if I need to get some stuff because I do need some healthy food as well. Um, five minutes of lifting the weights, five minutes of rubber, using the rubber band, and then a five to ten minutes of extra light cardio. And I'm just going to keep this routine for five days a week. It's one hour a day. It's not going to do anything. Like, I can't say it's not going to do anything. I'm just going to say it's five minutes, like ten, an hour out of my day of doing cardio is good. You're supposed to get five hours of cardio a week. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take it nice and easy and hopefully start going for jogs and runs in the summer. I'm going to get little tiny dumbbells that are at least five pounds each and the, or two pounds each. I don't even know, but I'm going to hopefully get some and then I'm going to take them with me when I go for jogs and runs. I don't know if it like there's effective results I'm not gonna take any special pill because it those weight loss pills uh, apparently like they're a scam and it's just people who are actually like they they're taking pills that make them think that they're losing weight when they're actually losing weight themselves and that's like that's like having a lucky t-shirt like a lucky object with them and um, a lucky piece of clothing and they think that it brings them luck but it's really confidence and it's pe that's like the same thing with working out it's people they think taking a pill is going to help them lose weight and then they realize it's motivation it's them working out and then having exercise and you know them changing the eating habits and that like they think the pill's working when it's really them who's doing that and uh, that's why I don't spend money on pills and stuff like that it just it ruins your body kills your organs like it may look fine on the outside but on the inside you don't know what damage that could be doing I just <laughs> spilled the truth to you guys who are workaholics workoutaholics <laughs> not workaholics that's not a thing but oh well okay so I have some exciting news to share with you guys besides me sharing you me sharing my workout schedule and routine to you guys I have um so I'm very, very exciting news. I'm going to try to contain my excitement because my aunt is home. She's upstairs. 
Uh, last week I did want to make a vlog to announce this, but I'm going to do it now instead because today's my vlog day. Um, so last week I was so scrolling through social media and I found out that Steve Whitmire, who is a puppeteer, he was a former puppeteer for uh, the, the Muppets, Sesame Street, Fraggle Rock, other work with Jim Henson. And uh, I've been a fan of him for a really, really long time. And when I found out he was going to the Michigan Comic Convention, I just almost passed out. And I have my ticket right here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna paper cut. Uh, so yeah, I got it right here. I'm containing my excitement right now because I want to scream. I've been wanting to meet him for a really long time. So I'm really, really glad to have this ticket. And I'm excited as fuck. <laughs> okay. I know I don't often curse in my vlogs because I try to keep it family friendly. I do curse a lot in real life though. Um, so yeah, I have a little bit of other information. Um, you know, even though he's going to be in Detroit, I can still take the tunnel bus from Windsor to Detroit. Speaking of Windsor to Detroit, um, they did show the two cities on, uh, what is it, on The Simpsons. And uh, I, I still have to watch that episode. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to finish up this vlog, upload it, do my exercise routine for an hour, and then I'm going to go, and actually while I'm doing my 25 minute walk, I can go to that little shop full of, uh, it's like a little grocery store, it's full of healthy food, and I'm going to go there and I'm going to come back to my house, um, and then I'll continue with my workout schedule, and then I'm going to watch that episode of The Simpsons, and then... Uh, there's a scary movie, I'm gonna try to find it online, I forgot what it's called, but, um, anyways, I, I think I said everything I need to say. Oh, back to the comic convention. Oh my goodness, I don't know if it's going to be the whole Kobo Center, or if it's just gonna be a part of it. I don't really know how it's gonna work. I'm gonna be there all day. If I meet Steve Whitmire, that's gonna be great. If I don't meet Steve Whitmire, that's, that's okay too, as long as I get one picture. I'm gonna be really happy. I really hope I do get to meet him. I'm gonna pass out if I do. I know that I'm gonna do something that I'm, I know that I'm gonna mess up. Like I know I'm, I don't want to mess up when I meet him, but I know that I'm gonna mess up. I know it. Like I know I'm gonna fuck up big time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I should drop a little bit. But anyways, I'm going to go now. If I forgot to say anything, I'll put that in the description box down below along with my social media links. Um, subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment down below, turn on notifications. I don't know if this vlog is going to be blurry, because uh, it was a few times I did a vlog and then I had to delete it. So I, I kind of, I do a vlog and I delete it and then I had to like do it. Because sometimes if I do a vlog the first time and I mess up a lot and I delete it and then I have to like redo these vlogs like multiple times. And it takes me like an hour or something. Uh, but anyways. I'm gonna go now, I'll see you guys next time, and uh, yeah, I'll give you guys more updates, and uh, yeah, cannot wait, peace.